When the James Webb Space Telescope was launched, we expected it to refine our understanding of the universe, not to unravel it. But in the shadowy depths of deep space, something has been found. Something so unexpected, so fundamentally bizarre, that it seems to mock the very foundations of physics. Hidden among the earliest structures after the Big Bang, a new class of object has emerged. Too small to be galaxies, too powerful to be stars, and too red to be anything we've ever seen before. These mysterious entities were invisible to every telescope until Webb arrived. And now, with its unprecedented infrared vision, the impossible is finally visible. Scientists are calling them little red dots. But what they truly are, no one knows. Some believe they are the missing link between the earliest galaxies and supermassive black holes. Others suspect something even stranger, remnants of a cosmic age governed by rules we no longer understand. Today, we dive deep into one of James Webb's most confounding discoveries, and what you're about to hear might change how you see the universe forever. It all began, not today, but decades ago, when astronomers first encountered a mystery they couldn't explain. In the 1950s, with radio astronomy in its infancy, a strange object, 3C273, was detected. It looked like a star, but radiated energy across a spectrum no star should. Its chemical signatures didn't match any known element, and its emissions blinked and flared with no logical pattern. This object, and others like it, were dubbed quasi-stellar objects, or quasars, almost stars, but not quite. They were fast, bright, and extraordinarily compact, smaller than our solar system, yet visible from billions of light years away. Eventually, these mysteries were resolved through the revolutionary concept of supermassive black holes surrounded by violent accretion disks. It took over 20 years for scientists to unravel that enigma. And now, we're back in the same place. The James Webb Telescope has revealed hundreds of new anomalies, objects that resemble those original quasars, but that break too many rules to be classified the same way. Smaller, dimmer, cloaked in dense dust, and only visible in infrared light, these new objects echo the past while refusing to fit into any known category. These new anomalies were first identified by the Subaru Telescope in Japan and were given the name Shelkus, Subaru High-Z Exploration of Low-Luminosity Quasars. At first glance, they were just faint blobs in the cosmic background, but their luminosity was far too high for their size and far too red to be caused by distance alone. James Webb stepped in, and what it saw was extraordinary. These objects weren't just dusty, they were suffocated by it. Entire galaxies wrapped in thick molecular clouds, hiding what lies within. But thanks to Webb's infrared capabilities, astronomers could finally pierce the curtain. The gases inside were moving with immense velocity, far too fast for any stellar system. The only explanation? These objects were being pulled by the gravity of supermassive black holes. Yet these black holes were different from any we've ever studied. Their host galaxies were too small, their light signatures didn't match any known quasar, and they were hidden their jets and accretion disks buried beneath cosmic fog. They weren't just faint quasars. They were something else. Perhaps something more primitive. Perhaps something that existed only in the chaotic youth of the universe and disappeared before our galaxies even formed. As the data piled up, patterns began to emerge. The shell cues, though small, shared a surprising number of traits with the infamous little red dots discovered in Webb's early deep field images. These red dots were everywhere, yet invisible to every instrument except Webb. They glowed only in infrared. They were compact, hyperluminous, and coated in dust. But here's the catch. They seem to exist only in a narrow cosmic window, from about 600 million to 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. Before that, and after that, they vanish. What could exist for just 1 billion years and then disappear completely? The more scientists examined their spectra, the clearer it became. These weren't galaxies, at least not in the traditional sense. Nor were they simple quasars. These were active galactic nuclei of a completely new class. Black holes that grew too fast, in systems too small, surrounded by environments too extreme. Some researchers now believe that these red dots may be the embryonic form of modern quasars, or even a failed evolutionary path of black hole formation. 
But there's another, more unsettling possibility, that they're the remnants of a different physics, a time when the universe itself operated under different rules, and the remnants of that age still flicker across the sky in Webb's infrared gaze. The most compelling part of this entire mystery is what we don't see. Many of these red dot candidates, despite showing all the traits of black hole powered objects, emit no X-rays. This was once a major argument against the black hole theory because active galactic nuclei should flood space with high energy radiation. But now, scientists believe the answer is more terrifying. The dust is so thick, so dense, that it swallows the X-rays, trapping the most energetic emissions inside and only letting through the faint red whispers that Webb can detect. If true, it means that we've missed entire populations of active black holes in the early universe, hidden not by distance, but by the very fabric of matter around them. This implies a much higher number of supermassive black holes than previously estimated. And yet, we're still left with deeper questions. Why did they grow so fast? Why did they disappear? And what else is out there, still hidden in wavelengths we haven't yet unlocked? Because if the red dots and shell cues are connected, we might have just discovered a completely new life cycle of galactic evolution. But if they're not, we may have just found an entirely new type of object in the universe. One that defies everything we thought we knew about matter, light, and time. As researchers analyzed the faint light emitted by these strange new objects, they noticed something even more unsettling. Chemical fingerprints that didn't match anything we've ever seen. In past discoveries, spectral lines were often linked to common elements like hydrogen, helium, carbon, and oxygen. But in the case of these impossible objects, many of the lines were either too wide, too shifted, or simply unidentifiable. This wasn't just a case of redshift due to cosmic expansion. These spectra seem to show unknown molecules or atomic states, possibly even exotic matter under extreme conditions never replicated on Earth. Some lines hinted at ionization levels that would require energies beyond what stars can produce. Others behaved in erratic patterns, flickering between visibility and silence, suggesting a dynamic, unstable chemistry. The implication is chilling. Either these objects are made of materials unknown to science, or they are subject to physical laws that operate differently under the immense pressure and density of these compact zones. It's as if the universe, in its youth, forged things that today are impossible, not just in structure, but in substance itself. Another anomaly soon emerged, subtle but undeniable. Some of these objects appear to exhibit periodic fluctuations in brightness, not caused by stellar activity or dust rotation, but by something deeper, gravitational rhythm. These fluctuations are so regular and so precise that some physicists are now studying them as cosmic pulses, potentially linked to orbital motion around a dense central mass. One theory posits that we may be witnessing matter spiraling into a black hole at precise intervals, generating reverberations in light and gravity. Others suggest these pulses might be echoes, resonances from earlier stages of universal evolution still rippling through space-time, amplified by the dense environments of these red dot structures. The terrifying possibility? That some of these anomalies are not just emitting light, they're recording events that happened in a very different era of the universe. Events we've never seen, patterns we've never modeled. This behavior doesn't just confuse our models, it destabilizes them. Because if gravity itself can pulse in harmony with unknown forces, then it means we're missing an entire chapter in our understanding of cosmic mechanics. What makes this discovery even more staggering is that these impossible objects might not be rare. They might be everywhere, simply hiding from view. Scientists now believe that the red dots, shell cues, and similar dusty AGNs could number in the millions, perhaps even billions, scattered throughout the cosmos, just out of reach of our visible light instruments. Webb has revealed that these objects are not randomly distributed. They form clusters, filaments, and structures eerily similar to the cosmic web we see in simulations of galaxy formation. Yet unlike normal galaxies, these objects are more compact, more volatile, and more luminous in the infrared spectrum. This has led some to theorize that these anomalies are actually the first generation of organized cosmic structures, the scaffolding upon which galaxies were later built. But if that's true, why don't we see their descendants today? Did they evolve into something else, merge with early galaxies, 
or simply burn out in a blaze of physics-defying glory? The idea that so much of the early universe was invisible until now is deeply unsettling and profoundly humbling. We weren't looking in the wrong place. We were using the wrong eyes. Perhaps the most disturbing thought to emerge from these discoveries is that the laws of physics themselves may not have been constant throughout time. Some theorists are beginning to entertain a radical idea. The constants of nature may not be constant. What if gravity, electromagnetic interaction, or even quantum behavior behaved differently in the early universe? The red dots and shell cues could be remnants of that foreign epoch, a time when the equations that govern our world didn't yet apply. Some physicists even speculate that these objects may represent phase transitions in the fabric of the cosmos, like cosmic fossils from a period when space-time itself was still crystallizing into stability. If so, then James Webb hasn't just found impossible objects. It's found proof that the universe itself evolved not just in structure, but in laws. These objects would then be relics from before the universe settled down, when chaos ruled and matter danced to rules no longer written. And the terrifying truth? We may never fully understand them because they come from a version of reality that no longer exists. In a universe governed by order, balance, and predictable equations, the James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered a truth that shatters our sense of cosmic security, that not everything out there follows the rules. These impossible objects, small, red, silent anomalies glowing faintly through veils of ancient dust, are more than just distant curiosities. They are reminders. Reminders that the universe was once wilder, stranger, and more violent than we could have imagined. That its earliest chapters weren't written in ink, but in fire and gravity, in chaos and collapse. We once believed that black holes formed slowly, that galaxies built themselves over billions of years, and that physics was a universal constant. But now, we're staring at the wreckage of those assumptions. Objects too dense, too fast, too powerful for the timeline we've constructed. And the most terrifying part? We still don't know what they are. Are they the missing link between star and quasar? Echoes of forgotten physics? Or something so alien to our understanding that we haven't even developed the language to describe them yet? What James Webb has shown us is not just the depth of space, but the depth of our ignorance. And in that silence, in those impossible red dots, in those dusty ghosts of a universe gone by, we hear the cosmos whisper a simple truth. You don't know me yet. If this discovery left you stunned, let us know what you think in the comments. Could these objects be fossils from an ancient phase of the universe? Or are we witnessing the first signs of something far bigger than we ever anticipated? Tap the like button if your curiosity has been ignited, subscribe for more journeys into the unknown, and share this video with someone who still thinks space is empty.